Hello, my name is Nick and Ruby. Today I'd like to share with you how I dealt with a personal conflict. So it was about who won the personal conflict. I'm sure you'll be wondering, what's this personal conflict? Yeah, it happened over this weekend. And I thought, hmm, very interesting, I should share that with you. And the quote that really comes to my mind when I reflected on the conflict was that strength and growth come only through continuous effort and struggle. And that was Napoleon Hill who said that in the early 30s, that strength and growth come only through continuous effort and struggle. Okay, so it was last Saturday, I'll tell you all about it. Last Saturday was my day to take a long walk in Karura Forest. I love that, just beautiful majestic trees. And the previous four weeks had been raining, so I hadn't been doing that. And what I would do is I would just walk out. But anyway, I was reminded that, okay, I'd set a goal to walk, jog 15 kilometers. So increasing that from about 12K, 15 kilometers. That is when the conflict started. The fit and growth-minded Neka was so excited. Yes, this is a new challenge. Let's hit the trail. Get yourself up. Let's go. And then the complacent and static Neka was like, huh? 15K? What do you mean 15K? Neka, you've not, you've not, well, I, I walk out every day, almost every day, but you haven't walked for this long in four weeks. Surely you'll be very tired. Um, perhaps start with 10K, then progress. And there, there was a conflict going in. Fit and growth-minded neck was like, yes, let's go, we can do it. Complacent and static neck was like, uh, maybe not today, maybe next month, have a plan for that. So anyway, I said, regardless, I'm getting on the trail. Got ready, started the walk. Complacent and ne static Neka was like, hmm, Neka, you haven't actually eaten. You didn't have anything for breakfast. Perhaps you should have taken a banana. If you're going to do this 15K, you may not be able to finish the walk because you'll be so tired. So maybe still go with 10K. Can you imagine? I'm sure that may happen. Oh, oh, let me ask. Does that happen to you? Right? Where the growth-minded person is like, hey, let's do it. Let's move. Meanwhile, the comfortable one is like, mm, you're good. Don't, don't bother. So this continued for a while, continued walking, and I thought I'd missed the direction to the 15K. And somehow I was kind of like sheepishly excited that yes, next time that is not my fault, I didn't see that. But at last, as I continued walking, I got to the crossroad. The blue sign to the left was a 10K and the green sign was 15K. So I stood there for a while, I'm like, okay, Mecca, what are you gonna do? And within a split second, I made that decision, okay, you're going right. I took that picture and I just walked right. And immediately I made that decision. I felt so excited. In fact, there was a, ch a change to my, my swagger. I was now walking. I was not walking like a, a, senior, a senior jogger doing the 15K, not knowing that people would think that, oh, this is an experienced 15K walker. But really, I was really excited I had made that decision that I had said no to complacency and, um, and moving forward. And I was just so amazed, the beautiful views I saw as I, as I jogged along. One was a very beautiful creek that was just on my way. Meanwhile, on the 10K trail, you don't have that. In fact, you have to walk down a cliff just to see the creek. This was just by my side. And it just got me thinking that, you know, Truly, strength and growth comes only through continuous effort and struggle. So one is continuous, continuously doing that, being persistent. I had I'd set the goal way before the rains came that Neka, you're going to get up to 15K. And then of course, the effort. And that is when you are applying yourself. There are things that you may not know how to do, particularly maybe it's a, a goal that you've set for yourself. But if you apply yourself on a daily basis, you will figure things out. You may be like, okay, I don't know how this is going to happen. But by asking people, just because you've made that intention and continuously working on it, sooner or later, you will figure things out. And the third area that Napoleon Hill talked about was, it's a struggle. 
everything worthwhile is uphill. And that's my mentor, John Maxwell, who says that everything worthwhile is uphill. So that if you're going on a hopeful, a goal, a major goal is an uphill. It's going uphill, it's not going downhill. You know, cruising, you don't even have to apply yourself, you're kind of just coasting. But anything that will help you grow will involve a struggle. Struggle in your mind like it did in my mind. One part of me was like, hey, Neka, all excited, let's go for it. The other part that we just want to settle was like, mm, just take your time. But it's, it's, it's realizing what is going on and it decisively taking action around that. And something else that happened to me that I thought really helped me making that decision was when I took that photograph. So it was like taking the photograph, okay, what are you going to do? I'm sure if I had taken left and I took that photograph, I would not have felt good. But this time I felt so good when I got home. Yes, I was really exhausted, but I had conquered that 15K. I can proudly say that I'm a 15K, well, I won't call it veteran, but I'm a 15K jogger, so to speak. I hope you found this, my, sharing my thoughts with you, helpful. What is that goal that you're working on there, kind of thinking, uh, should I, should I not do it? And one part of you is saying, let's go. The other part is like, mm, maybe not now. Perhaps you need to take that step. Tag a friend of yours if you feel that will be helpful to your friend. And also, what else makes you keep going? Share your comments and thoughts with me. Until next time we connect, endeavor to live a significant life.